guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio Buck Show. And today, this morning, I am flaming. Guys, first and foremost, I woke up at about 2.30. And, you know, I just tried telling myself not to check my phone that early. Because you have no idea... Whatever you check is something that you should deal with like around 10 a.m. when you're fully conscious, fully aware, and when your subconscious mind can't be influenced by the bullshit you see on your phone. But I ended up falling for the trap. I ended up looking at my phone, and normally I turn off notifications. So, Line Messenger, I turn them on, beca- turn them off because they could be work related, and I don't want to see any fucking shit work related between te- like like in the dawn of the morning because at the dawn of the morning that's when I need to prime my mind for greatness, right? But I fell for that trap. I should have turned off the email notifications. I should have turned off this and that. And the first email I got was from Udemy. Now. I was a little bit and slightly turned off by Udemy. Now, I'm going to talk about another instance where someone else, I had a very bad feeling about the negative energy this person had, especially by the messages he had been sending. And I just confirmed it this morning. I'll give you guys that podcast tomorrow, right? But today, this morning, Udemy sent me this. It said, Udemy trusted safety, right? And it said, we have received your report. First and foremost, there's no hello There's no nothing. There's no dear Arsenio. There's no dear. There's nothing. It just says we have received your report. Period. Thanks for getting in touch with Udemy Trust and Safety Team. Um, I never got in touch with the Udemy Trust and Safety Team. And it says if you're making a policy violation report, we will investigate the matter and respond directly to the involved parties. To protect individual privacy, the results of these investigations are not shared. Therefore, we will not be sending you a follow-up after this email. What the fuck is going on here? First and foremost, I never sent you anything. I've never emailed you anything. What the fuck is this? And who would who would even send this? And I'm like, okay, this, guy, this has to be a, a possible trolling email. Because I'm like, well, you know, it, it's black here. It's a little white on this side. I, I didn't under. I was like, you know what, man? This could be bullshit. This is at 1.23 a.m. And remember, they emphasized that they therefore will not be sending a follow-up email after this. However, they ended up sending a follow-up email after this. And it said, hi there. We're reaching out from the Udemy Trust and Safety Team regarding your course image and artwork for the following, you, you know, the course that I have, for the pronunciation course number two, right? And it says, it has recently come to our attention that this course image is out of the out of line with our course image standards. Okay, so be it. It's really funny because the course image, all it is, is like a couch, a mirror, a picture. There's nothing horrible on this thing. It just says pronunciation course phase two. But Udemy just so likes to emphasize that the course image there, um, you, you, you know, this is out of line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like I put a big fuck you like Joe Rogan has. I literally put something, right? A, 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 a basic ass picture that has a little bit of writing. Now, this cut, this is very, very cor- poor customer service. Let me tell you why. And it says, we would like to proceed with, fi- we would like to proceed with fixing the issue as soon as possible. If we have not heard from you within the next seven days, your course will be unpublished. We encourage you to audit your other course images to make sure that they also align with our policies. Should we find another problem, we may issue a strike per our escalation process. I said, oh my God, what the fuck have I done? I hurry up and went on to the pronunciation course number two and said, did someone upload a picture of a woman's vagina? This sounds like some serious shit here. The fuck is going on here? I check it and it's the same course image. I don't give a fuck if there's just letterhead, okay? This is not that serious. This is why... There are so many personal development coaches out there and soft skill teaching course uh, coaches out there because this shit right here is unacceptable. As a course instructor, let me try to tell you what they should have said. But before I even get into that, I hurry up and went on the chat screen. And I talked to this motherfucker by the name of Ross Mel, Roswell, don't know, Roswell, New Mexico, who the fuck knows? But it started with a Ross and it ended with a well or a mum or some shit, right? 
And I said, excuse me, man, I got this email. I need you to clear some things for me. Yeah. And I'm over here approaching it from a very, very objective manner. And he's like, no, no, no one reported you. I was like, well, listen, it says we have received your report. I didn't send you a report. It says we have received your report. Now, if you want to say we have received a report, okay, but you're following line. Says thanks for getting in touch with you. I never got in touch with you. So what the fuck are you talking about? And he's like, no, that, no, no one complained. No, it says this. I'm like, dude, read the email. I didn't tell him this, but I'm like, I don't want to argue because these fuckers and their escalation rule policies and strike a sh-. I'm like, motherfuckers, where is the respect? You guys have made money from me. I put my courses on there. I've only had three buyers. And I'm not saying anything about that because, again, starting off as an entrepreneur, this is how it is. But I could literally pull all my courses and give you a big fuck you, which I'm basically going to do. But what annoyed me so much, all the motherfucker had to say, and the chat screen was a little bit better. I said, why? What's wrong with my image? Just tell me. Fuck all your regulations because I've read it before. None of that shit makes sense. It's a bunch of blah, 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 university bullshit ass jargon. What's wrong with my message? Or what's wrong with my image? Oh, it has text. That's all you had to fucking say instead of threatening me, you dead fucky. And that's what made me so annoying. I'm like, dude, guys, we need actionable items within an email. Actionable steps. Hello, Arsenio, listen, just to get in touch with you, we realized that, uh, unfortunately, your, uh, your image, don't even say violate, just says your image contains text, and that goes against our course image standards. Could you possibly remove the text and re-upload the image? That would be greatly appreciated. Don't fucking threaten me and say, if we haven't responded back to you in seven days, we're going to unpublish your course. And if this escalates, we're going to fucking issue a strike against you. That right there is American trash bullshit. I, and and you know what? I have zero tolerance for that. Because when it comes to customer service, guys, you know how it is out here in Thailand. I get zero. And this is why I cuss people out very quickly. Right? I say, I hear, I sat. That means fuck you and fuck you. But it literally means an animal, but in a derogatory way. So, yes, I do drop those motherfucking bombs because those motherfucking drops, those bombs need to be motherfucking dropped. But this right here, I'm an instructor. You show me respect. That guy in the chat screen, he wasn't that good. I'll give him probably about a 6 out of 10. Okay, because he could have said, hey, Arsenio, yeah, I completely understand. Listen, what I uh, what what the pro- the problem was is that your image had text. If you could just upload it without text, Arsenio, that's all we need. See, that's called really good fucking customer service. This is why coaches like me are needed for me to jump on motherfuckers like them. Oh, my God. What was it? Yeah. And so. And it's funny because. I read the, the third email and I'm like, uh, yeah, why? What's going on? And this is their last email. This was after the chat screen because I already had it resolved. And it said, hi there. Again, no hi, Arsenio. No dear sir. Just a hi there. And there's the in regards, you demi-trusted safety team. Motherfuckers, you are acting like there is a picture of a woman's ass and her vagina on my photo. Trust and safety. Motherfucker, What? Safety? Oh my god, your course says phase two. Oh my god, I can't believe it. You need to take this off right now. This is the problem with America. Seriously, this is the most annoying shit on the planet. She went, the bitch went on to say, or the safety team went on to say, uh, hi there. Again, unfortunately, this message is no mistake. Please take note that this is a notification matter. The course, blah, 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 image does infringe since it has text in the image itself that's all you had to fucking say but in a nice way you're treating me like i'm a third class citizen you're making me have flashbacks of what thai women have always done to me all your dumb sorry you demi pussy ass trust safety fuck team all you assholes had to do Oh, there's a lot of ogre coming out in here. If you guys can't take it, I suggest you turn the motherfucker off. All you had to do was say, 
El, Ar hi Arsenio. No, not even hi Arsenio. You're not my fucking friend. And there's no response email. There's no person that's actually emailing me. It's a whole fucking team. All you had to do was say, hello, Arsenio. Unfortunately, yes, this does pertain to this matter. Your image has text, so could you please remove the text and re-upload the image? We would greatly appreciate it. And then just say, oh, and just to let you know, per policy, unfortunately, if you don't, you know, re-upload it in seven days, we're, we're going to have to unpublish it until you republish the original photo. That's just what the standards are here at Udemy. We do apologize for the inconvenience. No, these motherfuckers said we wanted to take some time to provide some insights into our, our policies. Fuck you. Fuck your policies. Fuck all that. We encourage you to audit other course images to make sure that you align with our policy. Should we find another problem, we may issue a strike per our escalation process. You motherfuckers did, did the second threat. What have I done so wrong, you fuckers? And then they go on to say, if you have any questions or isn't allowed, or uh, about what isn't allowed, please let us know. And I said, you know what? Okay, okay. I got you, you demi. I said, hello. Because they said hello there. I said, hello. Completely understand now after chatting with someone from you, Demi. However, the threat was very unnecessary and you should probably outline in brief. You cannot have written text in your photo to begin with. Don't do it in the second email only to follow it up with the second motherfucking threat. And I said, not very good customer service handled. Good day. Didn't say another motherfucking word. And I put them in the garbage. And then I sat there. I said, you know what? This, this really irked me this morning. I'm pretty motherfucking mad this morning. Because you know what? I, and it's all good because I could just pull all the courses. And now I'm making a podcast. Okay, to expose these motherfuckers. Uh, and I'm going to make a blog to expose these motherfuckers. Because I want to provide, a, a, you know, if I'm using a service and I'm saying, yeah, I have my courses on Udemy. And yet people have these problems. And people say, oh, yeah, you're provided a lifetime access. And then they access the course a month later, and then they say, oh, the course is no longer available. Oh, motherfuckers, you said lifetime access, though. So what the fuck is going on? This is a bunch of bullshit, right? And so I went on to a Udemy thing, right? And I saw a lot of complaints. I said, you know what? Let's look at some credible complaints. A guy named Rocky of New Haven, Connecticut. It's funny because New Haven, Connecticut, they, uh, they actually listened to this podcast. So shout out to you guys. But he said, I am a new instructor on Udemy. And I play some courses. He said, my courses are booming and many student. And it's funny because he said many student, which is weird. He's supposed to say many students enrolled and success in their certification exam with few... With few weeks. Yeah, this doesn't even sound verified, to be honest with you, because this guy's grammar is pretty bad. And yeah. Anyways, and he said, but after one month, one of the instructor, or maybe uh, I guess you could say one of the instructors. Oh, my God. I'm doing a grammar lesson right now. This is freaking me out. Has had, has noticed, or maybe one of the instructors had noticed. Oh, my God, Arsenio, calm down. Stop being a teacher for one second. That I am getting lots of traffic and enrollments. Comma. He enrolled into my course and still, although stole, past tense, oh God, calm down Arsenio, and stole all the content, I'm not going to say contents, from course, maybe from the course, this, this, this is really weird, uh, so all the contents from his course, not only that, he put negative reviews on my course to pull me down, he said, I'm really surprised that there are six people enrolled and within half an hour, they, en they unenrolled and put one star negative comments. Now, I don't know how credible this is, but this is a problem with Udemy because if somebody enrolls, anyone can enroll into my course. If they put a negative review based on what Udemy has already sent me through fucking email, oh my God, they might just say, hey, we're taking your courses off. You know, when I read that email message early in the wee hours of the morning, I immediately thought, oh, this is the, uh, the racist, uh, no, no, I wouldn't say the racist, the, uh, the sex tourist, the sex tourist white man out here that actually said he was going to, you know, lodge a complaint with Udemy, which actually sounds very credible reading that first email that was sent, in my line, because it says, oh, we got your, we, we got your complaint, or we got this or that, you, you know what I mean? I mean, I could go back to the email, just read it out for you guys, but again, you know, it says, 
thanks for getting in touch with the Udemy tr Trust and Safety Team. I never got in touch with you guys. We have received your report. I never lodged a report. So what the fuck are you guys, what are you talking about? And so, guys, in saying that, what you're going to learn from this podcast is, when you get an email like that, it makes you scratch your head. When you get the second email, and there's a threat at the bottom, talking about the unpublishing, I completely understand that, but the follow-up, we encourage you audit all your course images or we'll, make a sh we'll, we'll issue a strike per our escalation process. Whoa, motherfuckers. Yo, chill the fuck out. The fuck are you talking about escalation process? I haven't even sent you a fucking email yet to even talk about this fucking, the, the problem. You see what I mean? One, personal development coaches are needed because that customer service is fucking sick. I guess it, it relates to, you know, United Airlines and a bunch of other American companies that just believe in shitty ass shit, shit, shit customer service. That shit I don't tolerate. Two, if you say, Arsenio, are you going to keep uploading your courses on there? I can't. I can't. I have dignity. There's no way I can continue uploading courses after getting these emails. My goal now is to find another uploading or to figure something out and to just unpublish and cuss those motherfuckers out and re like rampantly and say you guys are the shittiest among shitty garbage ass just to let you know. And until you block me on LinkedIn, on every post that you post, I'm going to post my same original message stating your bullshit and telling everyone to stay the fuck away from you. So... It's so unfortunate because I'm like, dude, yeah, I create your courses on Udemy. My course is on Udemy. I'm over here making fucking Udemy money. And for them to threaten me like that, guys, no. Customer service is everything. See, when I, when I received that initial message in the morning, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I got, on, I got into defense mode. I'm like, whoa, guys, I'm making you bitches money. Don't you ever speak to me like that in that tone and send a threat. Send another email and then you're still, you can hear the tone. You can hear the tone. It's not objective. It sounds like a threat. That's what it is. And that's the, bi that's the biggest problem with, you know, this email that I've gotten. Because it could be very objective and friendly. And it should be towards, uh, you know, towards anyone. But then it sounded like a threat. And when it sounded like a threat, then I, I become very defensive. And I say, uh, first of all, I don't really need you bitches. Okay. Because honestly, other than the direct, uh, you know, the direct link, I'm the one that actually got people to buy my course. Oh, there's only one person, one out of the three, big shout out to you, that bought my course through, I think, the directory. And she didn't even really complete it. So me, I'm just like, okay, uh, yeah, since the beginning of January, I haven't got anything. So honestly, I could just find another site and I could upload other things, you know, and I could just, and that'll be the end of it. So... You know, you don't take shit from people like this. You should be able to identify tones of emails. You can feel them. And especially when you get a threat for whatever reason and you're completely in the green and it's just literally a fucking picture with text on it, I don't give a fuck what your policy is. You should have a policy to provide good customer service to instructors. That shit right there is completely and utterly unacceptable. And that's all there is to it. So guys, fuck you, Demi. If you're looking for a course or you're looking for something to build, I was just making my emotional bank account course too. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to start uploading it on De Udemy today. Uh, fuck that. I'm going to find another course and then I'm going to make a blog and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that everyone knows that Udemy is trash because there aren't that many blogs out there that are getting hits from the poor customer service of Udemy. So I'm going to make a blog. I'm going to send all those screenshots to the blog too. Showing and indicating, hey, yeah, this is what Udemy's doing. This is how they treat me. For a, a, a third world citizen. Well, not a third world. There's no such thing as a third world. Uh, but yeah, you guys get me? So, in saying that, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to figure I'm gonna figure out another way, a place where I can upload my courses. But that right there, that had to be voiced. That had to be voiced because that is completely unacceptable. And because, you know, I'm an English, you know, language instructor or a personal development coach, I know how you should email people. There should be actionable items. There should be a call to action. But with two threats and bad tone, 
I'm like, yeah, fuck you guys. I'm going to pull my courses and I'm going to give you a big fuck you at it too. And you can't even message these fuckers. They're so hard to get in contact with. They're just like ClickFunnel. ClickFunnel is the ultimate scam of the world. I don't know if people out there or any of you use ClickFunnel. But I met that guy from Belgium. And he said, yeah, get in ClickFunnel. I put in my account information and everything. And I'm like, okay, let's get this going. All of a sudden, I tried canceling and doing this and doing that, updating my account details. And I couldn't. They made it impossible. They're like, oh, sorry, we're working on it right now. I said, okay, and then you guys are going to charge me $100 and not reimburse me? So you're working on it right now just before my payment? This sounds like a scammy-ass fucking thing. What the fuck are you guys doing? And so I went on a rant. And I still get those emails in the junk email, too. I need to hurry up and block it. But Richard Branson or Richard Brunson, whatever your name is, fuck you. You're running an extortionate fucking company. And people who use it, oh, hell no. I say you go Evergreen Funnels because maybe you'll get better customer service. Customer service is everything, people. It really is. And it's so, it's so everything, in fact, that, yeah, uh, it makes me say, uh, fuck you, Demi, I'm out. So, it's saying that, guys. I hope you learned something from today. I'm your host, as always, over and out.